Hey everyone, my name is Emmanuel. Hope you're doing well. Today I want to show you my way when I build React Redux app. Uh, so I just make a little tutorial. Yes, it's my first one, so please don't <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> so why I want you to show my way? It's because I build everything in module, and for me and for a lot of person, I just show them make much more sense that what we see everywhere so so here you can see uh, a basic folder structure so i always have a comments folder where i put all my components who can you re be used in other stuff like a button text field something like that after that i have a module folder in this module folder i have another folder for each feature so here example i have a chat Inside the chat, I have a component folder. So inside this one, it's all the component who is below this chat only. And you can see I have an index file because of what? Because for me, it's much more easy to just import from the folder than import and I always add the name, etc. Here you can see in my chat, I have a view, I have this container, I have this action, reducer only. Inside this one, I have an index.js here. I have an index GS for the module and you're gonna understand everything later you just uh, I just want you to have a uh, a white plan right now inside my redux folder I have a reducer folder because I always use three main reducer one is out one is domain and one is UI out is for user domains all everything about API fetching and UI it's like a sidebar and this kind of stuff and you can see I, I again use index so yes you can see I have a reducer A, a reducer A yes in the Redux you can use much more uh, mu more than one time the combined reducer and I have my store in my Redux folder I have a root GS file for all the rules and I add GS for the layout why I do this more easy to add a new feature you just need to add a new folder and his own view container action reducer after that uh, is more easy to follow because everything is inside his own folder so in this tutorial we're gonna use promises for API fetching and I'm gonna show you how to debug with the dev tool so what we're gonna build it's yeah I know it's a to-do list but uh, make other feature just for add stuff for your learning so we're gonna have uh, authentication, we're gonna have categories. So uh, it's more like a Wanderlist clone app. So uh, for the uh, CSS framework, we're gonna use Material UI. Uh, we're gonna have a feed and user can like a list of to-dos. And for the backend, we're gonna use Express and build a simple API. So now, what we're gonna do today? First thing, we're gonna install Create React App. So what we do? You just came here to uh, GitHub, Facebook Incubator, Create React App. Here you can see they show you how to install that. Just do npm install globally with Create React App. After that, the only thing you need to do is Create React App and the name of your app. CD inside this one and npm start. That's it. No need to set up a webpack, anything else. So here, inside my, I just create a, a, a new one, but I just clean the readme. That's why I put that. So here, first thing we can do, it's npm star. You're gonna see, it opened for me my uh, local host, 3000. So if you are here, so everything go well with the installation. After that, I want you to install DevTool. So if you're using Google Chrome, I hope so, uh, go in uh, your extension, so Chrome Web Store, you can add, uh, install React. So just came here, install the first one. So you, you need this one and you need the Redux one just here. So just click install, that's it. Uh, nothing more to do so here first thing we're gonna install is the redux butterfly so 
come on in the terminal. I'm going to open another tab. So yes, I'm using Yarn. So Yarn, it's like NPM. It's a package manager, but much, much more fast. So what all what I do, if you uh, continue to use NPM, just do NPM install, save. But for me, Yarn, I only need add. So Yarn add Redux, React Redux. This is for connect Redux with React. That's it, because yes, you can use Redux with Angular, you can use with Ember. So they have built a, a package for help connect React and Redux. So we're going to install this one. We're going to need, um, just for this one, we're going to install this. After that, so you can see Yarn is really, really fast. The first time is is longer because you need to create a log file. So, so you can see. So we're gonna install uh, React Router too, and install React Router Redux. So React Router is just for a client router and React Router Redux makes just more sense to work with the state inside the realm. And for the uh, the dev dependency, so in Yarn you just do add dash dash dev. For you, in if you use npm install, you can use npm install dash d like that. So Yarn add dev Redux logger. So what is Redux Logger? It's just a tool for help debugging. It, it saves my life a lot of time. It just like put all your reducer action inside a log so you can see everything in your console log. <coughs> so first thing in your source file. So in your source file, the first thing we're gonna do is create another folder called Redux. In this one, it's everything about the minimal boilerplate of Redux, the store and the reducer, that's it. So inside this one, I'm gonna create a file called store.js. Here, we're gonna import compose. I'm gonna import create store and apply middleware. Need that. From Redux. After that, here, we're gonna need, because we want to plug uh, React Router Redux, so what you need, you need to have access to the browser history coming from React Router, so we need to import browser history from React Router. After that, from React Router Redux, we need to import sync history with store from React Router Redux, like that. Here, the last package we just install the logger, so we just import logger from Redux logger, like this. And here, we're gonna import root reducer from reducer, who is a folder. But yes, I know we didn't make it right now, but this is just, we're gonna make that right after. Here, what I always do is I create a, an array called uh, middleware. Middleware. And here I put all my middleware. So logger, we need to uh, call him. So that's why we need the fantasy. So why I do this is because if I want to add another middleware, I just need to come here and add that right here. After that, I create uh, an answer who is composed. Compose. He take apply middleware coming from Redux right here, and he take. So I'm gonna use ES6 spread operator. So I spread my middleware array right in apply middleware. Here it's a line. Here what I'm gonna do here it's a line for using the Redux dev tool you just installed with Google Chrome. So what you do? So you just see if you use the um, extension. 
if you use the Redux dev tool coming from Google Chrome. So if he detect, he gonna just like start it like that. And yeah, this one it's a, uh, you don't really need to understand what happened here. I mean, yes, you need to understand, but this is not something you're gonna reuse uh, another place in the project. So here, after that, we're gonna create the store. So here, what I do, it's create a, a constant store, we take create store, and in this one, it take three things. It take, first thing, it take the reducer. It take, after that, uh, initial state, for now, it's gonna be an empty object. And here, it's gonna take here, my answer for, uh, it's everything about dev tool and middleware, that's it. Here, we're gonna create, Accounts history. This is what we're gonna use in React Router. So for the one who just used React Router before, it's we just build the history, but now we're gonna sync history with React Router Redux in the store. So here, look at that. We just need browser history, and here we pass the store. This one right here. After that, we can just export the store and use it in other file. After that, we're gonna create. A folder reducer reducer and in my reducer folder I'm gonna create a index GS file if you didn't know that when you if you import only a folder JavaScript it's smart enough to go and take the index GS file so that's why here I just import the folder so it came right here here it's a really really Easy one, we import combine reducer from Redux. So combine reducer is just uh, a way to, so you see in the name, you combine all the reducer. And yeah, so I have nothing more to say. And here we're gonna import, this is coming from uh, React Router Redux, Router Reducer. So this is the reducer for the router here. We can export default, the combined reducer. It take uh, return an object. We'll add the routing. So this is what React Router Redux asks. So you need to do this. And here, just for showing you, a router is only a function will return uh, uh, data. So here, I can do this right here. So right now we have set up the real minimal uh, boilerplate for Redux. So now we can come here in index.js. First thing, here I don't need this one. Here I import render, so I use the destruct. So I don't need a react down here. So here is the part where we connect, where we connect React and Redux together. So provider from React. Redux and he need the store coming from the Redux folder and store GS. Here I can take my app, I put it inside my provider, and now my provider I pass the store, the one I just create. So now my app I have access to the store coming from Redux. So for right now, I mean, we can delete at test.js. It's not because I don't like tests, it's just in this tutorial, this is not the main purpose. purpose. Here I'm gonna delete the index CSS file. Here in app.js, uh, we can still use it. Here, I'm using a lot of on a functional a function only component so here I take my app so here I have a, I do another app just to be a stateless component here I have a div where I have a hello and here I'm gonna report the image app logo coming from react redux here I'm gonna show you what happened right here now look at that my Redux DevTool just open. 
it's now is green so that means all is working you can see here in my state I have my routing so this is coming from react router redux and I have my fake one who is only an empty array right now if you have your react dev tool open if you came here you can now come here and see your, provi uh, your provider your store so everything inside Rea uh, redux and your app who have nothing right now and look at this if I refresh the page you're gonna see the logger so everything who touch the store you can see the previous state, the action, and the next state. So for now, just because I like to have everything clean, I'm gonna just use inline style where I have a display flex, a justify contain center, and here I have my align item center. So here it's flexbox, so really basic. So here I can use my style style that rule but we need to set up a height so just for right now height gonna be 100 vh so all the uh, flex not defined oh. you need to put your uh, value inside uh, a code so now you can see everything is center and now we can start in the next episode so I hope uh, you learn a bit how to just set up your basic store so if I come back here we just import the the border plate for making the store really really quick it just uh, here don't remember the logger is the thing we just see right here in the console so every time we're gonna touch the store we're gonna see something coming right here much more easy to debug after that we import the root reducer who is only uh, a reducer right now who combine each reducer and we have only two the one coming from router reducer and the fake one right now and my star I create an enhancer who take uh, who with compose take the middleware and take the uh, dev tool coming from Google Chrome after that, I create my store and I put the three agreement who the store ask is the reducer, the um, initial state, and after that, he asks for uh, if you have an answer, middleware, all that stuff. After that, we create history and we sync with the store. So we take the browser history coming from React Router and we take the store we just created right here. After that, we can export this one. So we came to the index.js file where everything is stored. In this one, we have a React. We have the render with this truck from React DOM. We import the provider. The provider is what connect Redux to React. We pass it the store. And the store is the one we just create in the Redux store folder. And we have the app component. And we get the element root by ID for start. And this one is coming here in the index, in the public index GS, is this ID right here. And the thing is magical right now. The logo you just see is, the, is this SVG. And if you want to know why he, lo uh, he uh, rotate, is because he have the app logo and the app logo spin keyframe right here. So, oh. Everything made sense right now. So yes, this is a quick episode just for setup. So I hope you learn a bit. And so if you like this, just click like and subscribe. I'm going to try to push another episode every day. So hope all makes sense. So 